are undocumented immigrants allowed to vote in some local elections? Again, local, right? Don was talking about federal. We're talking about local. Um, it is true, yes, more than a dozen um, allow undocumented immigrants to vote in some or all local elections. Again, legal immigrants, which I think have a, a very strong bias to at least everything I've read, it's a very strong bias to vote Democrat. Um, the, the more more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is, in my view, uh, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters, to Democrat voters. Um, I and yeah, so the so question is like how? So there's there's a few there's a, a few ways that this works. One is that uh, when the census is done, uh, the census is based on all all people in an area, whether they are citizens citizens or not. So uh, if there are a concentration of uh, people who came here illegally in in a in a particular state or uh, in, in a particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of house seats. So the, the house seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the, 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 the illegals overwhelmingly go to places like California and New York. Um, and the, if you just look at the, look the math, if, if, if you look at the apportionment with and without illegals, I believe California would lose, I believe, I believe the blue state, there would be a net loss of blue states of approximately 20 seats in the house. Let's dig into it. So um, the Center for Immigration Studies said that the impact of legal and illegal immigration on the apportionment of seats in the U.S. House of Representatives in 2020 um, showed that um, in Article 1, Section 2 of the U.S. Constitution, it does require that a census be taken every 10 years, right? So for that reason, we're looking at the 2020 um, census, right? Each state is assigned the one seat it is required to receive, and the remaining 385 seats are allocated based on each state's share of the total U.S. population, excluding the District of Columbia, right? Immigrants referred to as the foreign-born by Census Bureau include naturalized citizens as well as non-citizens, such as green card holders, foreign students, and guest workers. It also includes illegal immigrants counted in the um, census. Immigrants also have U.S. born children. Under current policy, all persons, not just citizens, are included in the population count when apportioning seats to states in the U.S. House of Representatives and for votes in the Electoral College, which is based on House seats. Okay? So it does affect whatever Elon stated that uh, illegals or immigrants altogether do still affect the number of seats um, a particular state gets in the House of Representatives is true. Whatever, um, it's just a simple fact check. This information here um, can be found on a Center for Immigration Studies that did um, evaluate the impact of immigration and where immigrants do land or live um, on the census and how it actually affects the House of Representatives and so on and so forth. This also applies to, to electing the president because the, the, the same, the electoral votes are also done by, by apportionment the same way that House seats are done. But the reason, Elon, the Electoral College is in place is to to balance that is so that that doesn't happen. So what you're saying about it is the exact opposite of the reason yeah. why the, the Electoral College is there. Okay, now let's dig into it. There are two types of voting results, right? The popular vote and the electoral uh, vote. The popular vote is the total number of votes cast for a candidate by voters in 50 states. Electoral vote is what it sounds like. The votes cast for a candidate by each state's electors, right? So now, we go deeper. First of all, what is Electoral College? Established in Article 2, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution, the Electoral College is the formal body which elects the president and vice president. When people vote for president, they're really voting for an elector from their states. They are the ones who cast the votes that decide the election. Each state has as many electors in Electoral College as it has representatives in the House and senators in Congress. The District of Columbia has three. So to Elon's point, since 
immigrants do count for uh, census, which does affect the number of seats a state gets in the House of Representatives, they also do affect the number of electors that uh, each state has. Some folks, Edwards Davidson introduced the bill to stop illegal immigrants from skewing congressional representation and, elector and electoral college votes. This was introduced January 30th of this year. So U.S. Congressman um, Chuck Edwards, North Carolina, um, introduced the Equal Representation Act to stop the inclusion of illegal immigrants in the count toward congressional district appointment and the Electoral College map. Congressman Warren Davidson in Ohio uh, is co-leading this um, legislation. Again, what we learned today, even from this brief information that I sort of put together, um, some states allow to vote on local level, some states allow to vote even on state level, on federal level, no, but illegals or immigrants do account for a total population, which does affect the number of seats in the House of Representatives and the um, Electoral uh, College. So